good morning, y'all, and it is morning. I am in the kitchen making breakfast. Richard asked me before he went, my grandson's here, and he asked me, he said, now, if I wake up hungry in the morning, can you make breakfast? Well, that's a given. So he's not up yet, but I'm going to go ahead and make breakfast, and he'll probably eat. So I'm going to tell y'all what I've done so far. I've got bacon frame, and in this skillet, I put a little olive oil in the skillet, and I cut up a small onion, and I mean a small one, probably a fourth of a cup of onion, and one red potato, peeled it and diced it. <coughs> Can you see what's in there? Just onion and diced potato. And I'm just cooking it until the potatoes kind of brown. Instead of hash browns, that's what he's going to have to go with his eggs and bacon. And I'm going to make biscuits like my mother-in-law used to make. Only I'm not going to have a biscuit bowl and get in it with my hands like she did. I've done that. I had a big old Tupperware biscuit bowl and when, she, when I learned how to do it her way, I did it like that. But I hadn't, we don't eat like we did when I was raising the kids, so, um, and I sure don't now that it's just me. Let me get something to get the bacon out and then I'll be right back and we'll get to making biscuits. I like to drain it. I got it a little bit brown, but that's how I like it, and he won't complain. And then, of course, I save this bacon grease to season green beans and stuff with, so there's that. Melted about two tablespoons of uh, butter. And then Miss Jordan would use Miss Tucker's lard. And I'm going to put on up to about a half a cup of buttermilk in there. And I may have to use a little bit more. But I'm going to, what that does, it's cold buttermilk with the melted butter. And it'll make that butter just have little flakes all through there. It gives your biscuits, makes your biscuits good. Now in here I've got one cup of self-rising flour. And I'm just going to pour that in there. Now if I was working in a bowl, I would just make a little well in the middle of my big old bowl of flour. And I would work and work and work until I got me a ball of dough worked together. And uh, that would be my biscuit dough. I'm going to have to have a little bit more buttermilk. So let's see. Maybe a fourth of a cup more. So that's going to be three fourths of a cup total. And you want a stiff enough dough that you can form your little biscuits to cook. So I don't want it runny at all. I'm going to show y'all in a minute over there what it looks like. It looks like a ball of dough that I'm trying to get together. That's real smart, isn't it? You see, when you use the self-rising flour, it has the salt, the leavening, and everything in it, so it makes it easy. Okay, do y'all see how this is? Just big old blobs of dough. So what I'm going to do Get me a little bit of flour, and I'm going to shape these into biscuits. You could just drop them. And I'm going to tell you, I never make real pretty biscuits because I don't make them often enough. But I'm going to uh, turn the camera off and clean this up and get my flour, get my pan ready, and we'll get our biscuits in the oven. Now, I like to cook my biscuits in an iron skillet because I like for them to have that crunchy bottom on them. So, I've got my skillet hot. Well, I put some of my hot grease in it, my bacon grease. So I'm going to put it over here and have it ready. <coughs> I'm going to flour my hands a little bit. Flour my dough a little bit. I'm making a mess, but I'll clean it up. I guess I need to bring the camera over here closer, maybe. The top where they won't be so sticky. You don't want to overwork it, it'll make them tough. Okay. And I'm just going to pinch off a little bit, roll it in my hand, kind of shape me a pretty biscuit here. 
<clears throat> put it in my skillet and roll it over where both sides have some oil on them. You can make them as big or as little as you want. Now, if you're just wanting to make biscuits to make sausage and egg, you know, you'd make them bigger or sausage and bacon and egg biscuits or something like you get at McDonald's. Two. And you can make them touch or you can make them uh, be brown all the way around. And I like them brown all the way around, so I don't make mine touch. They're not real pretty. I don't know how to make them real pretty. I guess you just keep working with them, but Richard's going to be getting up here in a minute, and I'm going to have breakfast ready. So. so out of that, I got four biscuits, which is plenty for one or two people. You can put one up for later or whatever. So just a minute. Let me wash my hands, and I'll show you. There's my biscuits. I'm going to put them in the oven on 400 degrees, and I'll let them bake. I think probably 20 minutes, but we'll see, and I'll come back and tell y'all how much, how long they baked. Let me show y'all what I do. I've got one of these bit scrapers. This is actually called a vegetable taxi because it has little sides on it, but it's the same difference. And when I don't put um, a mat down or parchment to roll on, I just take this, which it's not rocket science, but if you haven't thought about it, I just scoop all my flour together, put it up on here like a dustpan, then I wipe my counter clean. And this is a lot easier to me than having to clean up that mat, wash the silicone mat and all of that. I'll just wipe this with a damp cloth and I'll be ready to go. I'm going to put this excess flour in the trash and we'll wait for biscuits to get done. And then I'll be back and show y'all what all he's having for breakfast. Okay, y'all, I'm going to make a little bit of milk gravy. And the rule of thumb is equal amounts of oil and flour. I didn't measure. I'm thinking I have about two tablespoons of flour here. And I just did a little olive oil and a little bacon grease mixed. But I want to make just a little gravy. I don't want a whole bunch. So I'm, I like that a little bit thicker. This is a half of a teaspoon measurement. I'm going to put a fourth of a teaspoon. And I don't want this to get brown like you would make brown gravy. I just want it to be, the flour to be cooked. So I'm just going to let it cook a little bit here. And then I'll add my milk. Okay, you can see it's getting a light tan color. Now if you wanted to make roux to make a gumbo, this is exactly what you do. You just keep stirring and browning on low. A lower heat. You don't want a high heat. I've got it on about a medium. And uh, you just keep stirring it till you get it as dark as you want it. For roux, I like mine very dark. But uh, for my milk gravy, I just want it kind of tan. About like it's getting right now. It's just about there. Cream gravy, milk gravy, call it what you want to. to start out with about three-fourths of a cup of milk and I may have to add some more you just add your liquid uh, till you get it to the thickness that you want it and once you get it all mixed in I'm telling you it's going to get a little bit thicker so I do want a little more milk putting a half a cup more in That's going to be just about enough gravy for two people. And you just have to stir the lumps out till you get it all liking each other real good and blended. And then you want to cook it so that it'll all be cooked together and it won't taste raw and it'll have a good flavor to it. Now I'm going to taste it here in a minute. 
and because this is, you know, breakfast, I'm going to put some um, little bit of onion powder and a little garlic powder in it and some fresh ground black pepper. But I like it thick. I want to cut the biscuit open and put the gravy on it and I want it to just cover it real good so I do want it thick. But I'm going to add some black pepper. And I'm going to run over here and get the onion and garlic powder. I decided that I would not put the onion and garlic powder in it. So I've let it cook for four minutes and I'm just going to call it done. Taste it of it and it's good. Very good. Okay guys, I got the biscuits out of the oven. They're hot, but I'm going to show you. See that good brown bottom when you put them in that skillet? I'm fixing to butter all four of them, and I'm waiting for little Richard to get in here for breakfast. Okay, guys, the, the boys already have their plate at the table, and I'm fixing to take mine over there, and we're going to have breakfast. Talk to you again in a minute. Well, we finished breakfast. I called Josh, and he came over and had breakfast with us. And I've got the dishes off the washed and the kitchen clean. And now I've got to run to the post office. I made a valance for Anna, who watches my channel. And she had sent me some Cutco knives. And oh my goodness, what a gift. So excited. But she wanted a couple of valances made to go in her canning room. So I've got those ready. I was going to mail them yesterday, but by the time I got finished, Went to get my oil change. This is the first oil change on my car. It was an hour and a half wait. And then I went to get it washed. And uh, that was an hour and a half. So by the time I got back, the post office was closed. So I'm going to run this morning and put these in the mail. And I've got a couple of things I need to run to uh, the store for. And tonight I'm going to cook beef tips and rice and have some friends over. So. That's going to be fun, and I hope to uh, film it for y'all because I'm going to use some of my canned beef or venison to do it with, so I hope to make a video of that. I'm trying. I'm going to quit promising anything because it makes me look like a liar, but I really am trying, and I'm trying to get back in the groove. I've got new subscribers. Welcome to every one of y'all. I'm not usually so haphazard. I'm more on target. I usually do two to three videos a week. But um, ever since my husband passed away in May, I've just been struggling to get back to a normal way of life. So maybe I'll get there. I think spring's going to help. This, this crazy, unpredictable winter weather. Now, they say we're going to have one more Arctic blast that, from the middle of February to the end of February. So we'll see if we have some more really cold weather, and then I hope it's gardening weather. I ordered some stuff from Epic Gardening, and I'm going to do a video and show y'all what I ordered and get my seedlings started where I'll have them ready to put in the ground. So I will I talk to y'all about that in an upcoming video. The good Lord bless and keep y'all. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching the old videos and just keeping me going. And I'm going to try to hop back on this Ferris wheel and keep my channel going and with new videos and give y'all something good to watch. I still got my little stack of things I want to do, but y'all, I just feel crazy to cook and nobody to eat it and it ends up either going to the chickens or I put it out there for the coons and squirrels and foxes to eat. So when I have somebody here like tonight, that'll be, that'll be good because somebody will eat what I cook. So, thank you a bunch for being faithful and loyal to me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for caring about me, praying for me, and uh, emailing me to check on me. I'm doing better now. I still get tired. I just run plumb out of energy, but I've talked to so many people that had the same dumb virus, and they have the same problem. The lack, the uh, long-lasting fatigue is what seems to be the worst ongoing symptom. And it's not any fun because I'm usually full speed ahead all the time and I I get weary with being weary. But anyway, I love y'all. Thank you for being my family. I love my strings family. I pray for y'all. Pray the Lord to keep his hand on you and protect you and prosper you and and that I will be a blessing to you and help you to learn 
new stuff for your family to eat, and just, you know, tips and tricks along the way. Give the good Lord some thanks and praise for what He's done for you. Somebody said something quite interesting. Somebody told him, she said, what if today all you could have is what you were thankful for to the Lord yesterday? Boy, since I've heard that, I've been even more careful to thank Him for all of my blessings. Even if I've already thanked Him, I continue to thank Him. Because I am very blessed and I'm very thankful for His provision and His help. And I don't want to take the good Lord for granted. I want Him to know I'm glad He's on my side and I'm on His side. Okay, I'll see y'all in a day or two, as soon as I can. The good Lord bless you.